Hey guys, today we get to look at Retract, and you might be like, why are we looking at Retract again? And it's because it has spiked a second time around. Now, Retract is in a deck in Modern. I don't know if this deck will be around forever. It does have a turn to kill. So in a format where turn four kills are too good, Splinter Twin being banned, and even something as like Birthing Pod, which sometimes got your turn four kill, was banned. We have a combo deck that allows you to kill on turn two. Even the Adra Adrazi were banned. Uh, the key element of that card went away. The Eye of Ugin. So Retract has spiked up in price because A, it's a fun deck, and B, it's a new deck, so it's a deck that does not involve fetch lands. The Cherio deck is mainly an artifact build, and what's unique about it is it does have the turn to kill, and compared to other top decks, if you will, it is cheaper. So Modern as a format, uh, it's always interesting to see these new decks go up in price and then probably get banned. Do I feel like this card will be banned? Maybe not this card, but all you would need to do is hit Mox Opal. If they hit Mox Opal, they can hit this for this reason, for another reason, uh, and Affinity is pretty good. If they ban Mox Opal, then the deck gets a lot weaker, and as combo decks get weaker, they no longer are playable. This card has gone up from 33 cents, and recently it was dipping, so you can see after Kaladas, it started dipping a little bit, and then it is now a 1475 card. 1475 is incredibly high for any card um, that was bulk. The only time I've seen something increase this much was Underworld Connections from 8 cents to 299 as a percentage wise, but this is far, far better as a speculation had you made it during, looks like Dragons of Tarkir, it was still around 33 cents. Overall, just a, even if you were to get it in, looks like around $2, two and a half, probably under two and a half dollars, you would have been well off right now. But you have to get rid of it because A, I don't know if the deck is super viable going on. Uh, we will see in Modern. And I don't be outside of the deck, this card has very limited... I mean, I don't know that you would play this card in EDH or any other format. Uh, maybe in Legacy you can pull off the same combo, but in Legacy there's a lot, there's Force of Will and things that can disrupt combos quite easily. Now, fascinating card and something that I love to look at because it has done, it has done something that I did not predict. It had a double spike. So if you look at the graph, it looks like it's shooting straight up. But that's actually not true. It paused for a tiny bit of time when I made the video, and then it went right back up. Fascinating card, uh, fascinating buyout, and the deck overall is a fun deck to play with, and cheaper than the regular decks, because the regular decks that are dominating like John or any of those decks in multicolor are using fetch lands. This deck does not require fetch lands. They don't require play sets of Zendikar fetch lands. So the deck is cheaper and the cards are stronger and it does have a viable turn to kill. Will this be a $14 card in the future? I don't know, probably not. But then again, I made a video saying it wasn't even a $10 card or whatever it was at the time. Anyway, bye guys.